Georgius. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Jordan Capistrano. And for our today's video, I will be showing my daily skincare routine. But that will be at the latter part of the video because first, I will be sharing my skin condition. Disclaimer guys, I'm not a dermatologist nor any physician or doctor. I'm just a student but sabi nga nila, experience is the best teacher. <laughs> Try just kidding. Anyway guys, when I was a kid, I was diagnosed as having atopic dermatitis or in layman's terms, sa mas simple at mas payak na salita, ito ay skin asthma. So ano nga ba ang meron sa atopic dermatitis or skin asthma? Well, according to NIH or National Institute of Allergies and Infectious Diseases, atopic dermatitis or eczema is a chronic non-contagious disease, ibig sabihin pang matagalan pero hindi nakahahawa, that is characterized by dryness or itchiness of the skin. So tandaan guys ha, hindi po siya nakahahawa. It is also known that people with skin asthma may be particularly prone to bacterial, to fungal, and viral skin infections. The primary risk factor or yung pinaka-posibleng dahilan ng sakit na ito ay personal or family history of skin asthma, allergies, or hay fever. In addition guys, last April, I was diagnosed as having folliculitis with atopic dermatitis. So, ano po bang meron sa folliculitis? Well, guys, di ba na-mention ko po na people with skin asthma is more prone to skin infections. So, isa na doon ang folliculitis. Ano nga bang folliculitis? Well, according to WebMD, it is a condition wherein your hair follicles are damaged or inflamed causing clusters of red, pimple-like bumps on your skin. So, nung nagkaroon ako nun, sobrang katinga, sobrang hapdi rin at the same time. So, nakatem siyang kamutin, pero pag kinamot mo, things may get worse. So, kailangan talaga mag-isi ng kate at sakit at the same time. So, madalas yung sinisisi kapag ka nagkaroon ng folliculitis ay yung staphylococcus or staph bacteria. Actually, guys, may staph bacteria naman tayo on our skin all the time. But it does not cause any issue. Nagkakaroon lang siya ng problema pag halimbawa, nagka-cut ka. Tapos, pumasok sa katawan mo yung staph bacteria through that cut, dun siya magkakaroon ng posibleng problema. So, proper hygiene guys ha! So guys, pupunta na ako sa aking daily skincare routine. Paano ko minamanage at hinahandle ang pagkakaroon ko ng skin disease? So, samahan niyo ko guys at ipapakita ko na sa inyo ang aking daily skincare So it's a new day, separate shooting from the other one. So this time, kagigising ko lang. Medyo, kanikanina, kagigising ko lang. Actually, what I do is that hindi ako everyday naliligo. Baga, in a week, siguro twice or thrice lang. But for the meantime, for formality purposes, <laughs> ay maliligo po ako ngayon. Ipakita ko sa inyo aking skincare routine. Pag naliligo ako, hindi ko pa nirinse or winawash yung face ko. Separate washing pa siya sa paliligo ko. So after ko maligo, mamaya Kaya, papakita ko sa inyo yung skincare routine ko sa face. So, maliligo na ako, guys. One, two, three. Ayan, guys. So, katatapos ko lang maligo. So, this time, I'm going to wash my face. Katatapos ko lang din mag-toothbrush. I use Neoderm Laboratory Pure Control Gentle Micellar Foam. Ayan. For all skin types around the eyes. Yan po ang ginagamit kong facial wash. This was prescribed to me by my dermatologist. Yung facial wash ko, tsaka toner ko, when I was looking for it sa Mercury Drug and Watsons, wala sila nun. And then, sabi pala ng doctor ko, dun lang siya, butika-butik sa Dash Marinas Cavite nun. My derma told me na when I wash my face, two pumps of the facial wash yung gagamitin ko. Pero kasi, guys, may kamahalan po ito. Ito ay 1,180. Pero, pangalawang bote ko pala to guys. Kasi yung unang bote ko tumagal naman siya sa akin for 3 months. Pero sobrang tinipid ko kasi may kamahalan nga siya guys. Sinasabi ni Doc na 2 pumps per wash. Ang nangyayari, 2 pumps per day. Isa sa, isa sa umaga, isa sa gabi. And then, I pump one... Nakakaloka. Tignan yung mukha ko pagkabasa. Parang pangit ko. <laughs> Then, so yan na guys, ang aking bare na bare na face. Bruh. So after I 
wash my face, nagtutoner ako, guys. Actually, before, hindi talaga ako nagtutoner. But my doctor prescribed me na I use this one. It's Dermacos Anti-Acne Toner. Ayan. So, I have combination skin. Some parts are dry, some parts are oily. Sometimes it's oily, sometimes it's not. Sa cotton balls, guys, ginagawa ko, ayan, hinahati ko na lang siya para tipid. And then I apply ample amount, guys, kasi may kamahalan din to. Oh. Nasa 900 siya. So, tipid-tipid tayo, guys, kasi uh, medyo malaki ang maintenance pag may sakit. <laughs> Washing my face and applying toner, I'll be proceeding to my room para naman dun sa iba ko pang abubot na ilalagay sa aking mukha. So, samahan niya ako, guys. So, yan, guys. Nandito na ulit ako sa aking room and i-apply ko na yung ibang abubot sa mukha ko. After I wash my face and apply toner, naglalagay naman ako, guys, ng moisturizer. I use Celitec. I am not quite sure how to pronounce this one. Celitec, Celitec or Celtic so <laughs> facial moisturizer with triple moisturizing system so sa Watsons ko to nabili guys I think it's nasa 150 to 200 I'm not quite sure kasi kung magkano talaga grabe no kita nga na guys yung eye bags ko sobrang dilim sobrang dark Kaya, alam nyo guys siguro pinakamaganda talaga ang skincare secret ay tulog talaga Yun ang wala po ako masyado. Yeah. Yung tamang tulog ah, hindi yung pang maghapunan. Dapat sa tamang oras sa gabi. Then after I apply moisturizer, nag apply naman ako ng sunscreen. Last week lang ako nagsimula mag-apply ng sunscreen guys. Cause ang dami kong nakikita sa Twitter na thread na gumagamit sila ng sunscreen kahit nasa bahay lang sila. And I don't think it would bring me some harm if gagawin ko rin. So, tinry ko rin siya. Pero ample amount lang. Since hindi naman ako nagkakaroon ng direct exposure to sunlight ngayon kasi nasa loob lang ng bahay. This is SPF 30. Yeah, salicylic then. Wow! Then after I apply sunscreen, nag-apply naman ako guys ng benzoyl peroxide benzoper for external use only. Pero guys, ito po ay pinrescribe sa akin ng derma ko. So, if hindi naman pinrescribe sa inyo to, I suggest you don't buy this. Nilalagay ko lang to guys sa mga acne-prone spots sa face ko. Down to the last one! So, okay na ako sa face ko guys. Yun lang yung nilalagay ko sa face ko for my daily skincare routine. For my body naman, ito yung nilalagay ko guys. Nivella Jeanne ko alam ko paano i-pronounce. Nivella Zion or whatever. Then, Intensive Moisturization, 24 hours Deep Moisturizing Body Balm, Dehydrated and Sensitive Skin. Sensitive Skin. Yeah. Yan. Ito guys, ample amount lang din yung ina-apply ko sa skin ko kasi ito yung pinakamahal. 3 months na siya. Hanggang dito na siya oh. So, for 3 months, ito pa lang ang aking nagagamit. Feel ko aabot to half a year. Kasi 1,280 siya, guys. I get it, malaki siya, pero still, tipid-tipid. So, I apply sa feet ko. Yung feet ko talaga yung pinaka-dry sa lahat. Lalo nung bata ko, dun sa pinliliit ko sa paa, naranasan ko na yung muntik na siyang maputol dahil sa malalim na sugat. As in, nagkaroon ako ng sugat. If ito, halimbawa, yung, ay yung foot, ito, sugat siya din. As in, parang hiwana talaga. Siya. Ganun kalala. Pero parang normal na sa akin yung dati. Like, oh, malapit na siya ma maputol. Ganun. <laughs> Pero wala akong concern sa sarili. Take care of your skin, guys. And also, don't forget to smile always. So, yan. Tapos na, guys. Um, papakita ko rin sa inyo yung feet ko. So, at least you have an idea kung ano itsura ng aking skin. Siya pa. So, 
Yun guys, ang ating daily skincare routine video for today. I hope you like it. I know it's not that perfect. Yung skin ko hindi siya ideal para itanong niyo sa akin kung anong skincare routine ko. But my main goal here guys is for you to know what my skin disease is all about. What is skin asthma? Ano yung atopic dermatitis? So at least you've learned something. Well, I hope so po. So if you enjoy the video, do not forget to leave me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and turn on the notification bell para updated po kayo sa mga susunod kong video. Once again, thank you, stay safe, and George always.